Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in today. Today we're going to take a look at a 2021 Cimarron Showstar. This is a six pin trailer. It's not just your standard. We've gone in and done some things to this trailer that really make it and kind of set it apart from others out there on the market. We'll go ahead and start up here at the front in the front dressing room. One of the first things we've done with this trailer is we actually extended this front dressing room. A lot of times this door is on the nose up here on the corner of this trailer and it actually shifts forward about a foot and a half, two foot. So this is a little bit bigger front tack room because we know you're going to take a lot of stuff to the show. Um, and again, this just is going to be a little bit more accommodating for the supplies that you're going to want to take. Up front here, you'll notice this box. So we have a 30 amp breaker. We actually upgraded this to, to put power to this trailer. I'll show you some stuff when we get back in the stall area. But this will allow you to plug into exterior power, whether it's a portable generator or a plug-in, and put power to this trailer back there if you're showing off of this trailer. One thing we went in on this partition wall is we carpeted the whole thing. We put nice big hooks up top here for you to hang some stuff on, some cords, hoses, things like that. But then you'll also notice the cargo track on the wall. So if you've got some bigger equipment or things that you just want to secure, we can put hooks in here and you can strap them down, bungee them down, anything like that. Good place to hang feeders as well. The other thing is we put a pass-through door. So again, if you are showing off of this trailer, you can prepare feed, get supplies, go right back into the stall area there. The other thing we did is we put steps on both of these doors. So these are fold-up steps on a gas shock. But again, it just makes it easier stepping in and out of the tack room or into the stall area, especially for little kids. We know a lot of families have younger kids that are showing. This might be a great starter trailer for you uh, with it being a six pin and working into a 10 or 12 pin down the road as kids get a little bit older, more projects. But this makes it a nice transition into your tack room or into the stall area with those steps. The other thing we did on this escape door is we put this extra gate. So this will just allow you to open up this door if you, if you need to stop somewhere and checking on things, you can open up this door, have that gate shut to where animals aren't trying to jump off. Or again, if you're showing off this trailer and just opening everything up for airflow, again, you don't have to worry about that. So that's, a, that's an upgrade we did on this trailer as well. On this trailer, go ahead and shut that so you can see we did the drop windows. Again, just a little bit more airflow. And then below them is the aluminum fold down slat. So on this trailer, with the small animals, you gotta think about where they're at. They're usually down here. You know, our hogs, our lambs, our goats, their noses are down here, so we can get that airflow down there to them. But it's just so nice and easy to be able to walk and flip this down rather than having to remove the plexiglass. You know, here in Colorado, we have really cool nights, and then it warms up during the day. So if you leave early, early in the morning, it's still cool, you can have these up. If you need to stop somewhere and get that airflow as it's warming up, this is really easy to just run around this trailer and drop those. We went in and we opted for the black aluminum wheels on this trailer rather than the standard silver aluminum wheels. Just gives the trailer a little different look. You'll notice the green tab on the valve stem. These are nitrogen filled tires. 
That nitrogen field is gonna make it to where these PSI levels aren't fluctuating drastically. Again, talking about these Colorado cool nights, warm days, you know, that, that PSI level can fluctuate drastically causing blowouts going down the road, but that nitrogen helps that out. If you need to put air to these tires, you can if they're a little low. The other thing is, is you get a one year no questions asked warranty on these tires through the vendor that Cimarron uses. And then also you get two years of roadside, which is a great feature that, uh, that they have to offer. As we get to the back, I wanted to show you, this is something at, at TransWest we do, because we know, especially right now, a lot of shows are show off of the trailer. So most of the time, the doors will wing out because they're welded hinges with grease certs, making that door just come off at a 90 degree angle from the trailer. So if your neighbor has the same thing, these doors are open, you have to spread really, really far apart with these trailers in order for animals and kids and people to get through. But we've gone in and done the wraparound hinges so these doors will fold around the trailer out of the way. So on all of our Showstar models, we put the wraparound hinges on them. We, we talk a lot about how well built these Cimarrons are. A lot of manufacturers will use a prefab camper style type doors. They're really lightweight, they're not heavy duty. And we talk about the framing in these Cimarron doors. So as you can see from this window out to the edge, that's all framing right there. So that door is extremely stout. I've actually got a cutout of what that looks like. So again, that's all framing. Cimarron actually has pictures and it's on a horse trailer. It's a three horse gooseneck. They actually have a floor jack with the door open they have the floor jack underneath the door and they're picking the back of the trailer up. It didn't tweak the hinges, it didn't tweak the door at all. That's how well built these are. So for the families that are driving up and down the road and going all across the country, you know, really high quality products are going to hold up for you in the long run. And that's what these Cimarrons are. That's why I wanted to show you that door frame and what we're talking about there. So as we get back here to the business end, again, I mentioned it's a six pin setup. On the left side, you'll notice I've got all the gates open. Right now, it's kind of like a little alleyway for you. The beauty about this setup is it's a 60-40, it's 50-50. A so they are adjustable pins. And I'll show you how those function So right now we're set up at a 50-50 split on these, but as animals get bigger, and if you're needing that alleyway, what you can do is you basically just open this pin up, and it's very, very simple to use. All I have to do is pull on this center gate, swing it over, push it into the rubber socket over there, and lock it into place, and now we have a 60-40 setup. So again, now we've got a great alleyway over here on the right-hand side of the trailer. So if you're showing off of this, getting the animals in and out, very, very easy to do. When we get into the trailer itself, again, standard on every Cimarron is their insulated, reinforced fiberglass roof. This will take substantial hail without denting it. I can walk on top of this trailer, won't do any damage to it. Most importantly for your animals is it keeps it cooler here in the stall area. Substantially cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs that you'll see on most, most trailers out there on the market. And again, it's a standard feature on every Cimarron. So again, if we're showing off of these trailers or we're traveling during the, the really warm summer months, the animals are gonna stay so much cooler, so much more comfortable. So when they get to the show, they're going to compete a little bit better, handle better for the kids. I mean, when we're all really hot, we don't feel like doing a whole lot. Animals are no different. So if they're cool and comfortable, they'll, they'll handle better for the kids. As I was talking about that 
30 amp breaker package up in the front there's some reasons why we did that so if you look over here on this left hand side in the top rail you'll notice that we have outlets for you so those are power outlets so again if you're showing off of this trailer you want to hang some fans anything like that if you need to do anything with any as far as power goes with any type of equipment you can just plug right in do what you need to right back here the other thing again with us being in Colorado not quite as hot and humid as those southern states we did frame for an AC unit on this trailer so we have power we frame for an AC so if you want to add one it's very very simple to do at this point we've cut down a ton of labor by going in and doing these braces for the AC unit and putting power to this trailer um, if you're doing that whole package after the fact it just is a lot more labor intensive and it's going to cost you a lot more but we've gone in and, and done those things for you so adding it is a very simple thing to do and our shop can do that in here we've got the optibrite lights so there's a lot of lighting in here for you those don't draw a lot of power but they do put off a lot of light for you so we did the 50 50 rear doors again those are with those wrap around hinges and then we did the ramp that goes all the way across so you'd shut your doors fold that guy up it's really really easy to use it's not heavy at all as we make our way to driver's side I'll just show you here again here's that lower aluminum slat folds down again very very easy to use it's on those gas shocks and then also your drop windows so again we can create a lot of airflow through here for animals keeping them nice and comfortable this trailer as it sits is just over 3,000 pounds it's 3,080 pounds empty so this trailer right here is great for a family with maybe a half ton pickup an SUV um, that can handle that type of towing capacity again you might have a whole lot of kids with you maybe some really young kids maybe you got a one kid left to show and you're getting towards the end this is a great little package for you in a six pin setup in the quality of a Cimarron build but again we've gone in and added quite a few things to this trailer to make it work better for you So a reference for you on this trailer, again, it's a 2021 Cimarron Showstar 6-pin. Stock number is 5N200228. If you have any questions on this trailer itself or any of our other show trailers or horse trailers, living quarters, whatever you want, give us a call. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. The number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Give us a call. Myself or anybody on the sales team can help you out. Have a good day and thank you.